perfect. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Neil. Thank you for your kind invitation uh, to officially open this wonderful exhibition. There are many distinguished guests here, not least the artist, but one person I would like to uh, thank for her presence here today. Uh, somebody who has, uh, whose association with the arts in Ireland, uh, both herself and her husband, has been legendary. I invite like you to give a warm Wexford welcome to Mrs. Sabina Higgins. And I, I almost think there's a hint of the Wexford colours in her trousseau today, don't you agree? I'm here on behalf and representing the Cahirlick of Wexford County Council, Mr. Keith Doyle, and also Wexford County Council. And I suppose it's appropriate that we are here in what I, is essentially the terminus, the terminal building on Wexford's cultural spine that stretches from St. Patrick's Graveyard right along High Street on our wonderful National Opera House down to our wonderful Civic li Library by Wexford Arts Centre along by our, of our ancient and historic uh, Wexford Town Wall which uh, stretches back to, to the 11th century across to the imposing Selsker Abbey right in here to Selsker Square and the wonderful uh, statue of Nicky Rackard uh, a legendary Wexford hero and I'm delighted to say that myself and Neil had some input into the final selection of that wonderful piece of, of art. Here, right to this wonderful building and gallery that is Green Acres, and I'm sure you'll agree, it's a wonderful location for this equally wonderful exhibition. And I'd like to thank James O'Connor and all his staff for facilitating Art in the Open on an annual basis here. It was uh, the French 19th century re realist artist, uh, Edgar Degas, who said, painting is easy when you don't know how, but very difficult when you do. And here, in Art of the Open Wexford, the artists essentially throw themselves open before the public, throw their art and their skills open for all to see, for all to adjudicate, and for all, in, in most cases, and I know in all cases in this regard, to admire. And I'm sure you agree that your interaction with the public of Wexford Town and beyond, uh, I'm sure the artists will agree, it has been a very special week-long uh, activity here in the heart of the sunny southeast. Uh, you will, I, I know a lot of people uh, using their programs as fans. Um, we haven't yet come to the point in Ireland where air conditioning is a must in every building, but the past few months has probably uh, made us realise that it's something that we might look as a prerequisite. But certainly the, the wonderful weather that we've had for the past week uh, in, in, uh, in Wexford has given this uh, wonderful uh, art in the open event and festival and extra dimension. 204 artists from 14 countries have attended this event, which makes it a huge success. And to all our visiting artists and indeed our native sons and daughters who have stepped up to the easel for this festival, we are delighted that you've chosen to join us here in our amazing medieval city. It's an amazing fact that despite the fact that this festival is just 11 years young, it has come to become the largest outdoor painting festival in Europe. And I think that is a testament to the amazing work of the local committee here. And I'd like to name them uh, individually. Neil O'Keefe, Tony Robinson, Kevin Freeney, and Jane Myler. You do wonderful work. And behind them, or sometimes in front of them, of course, we have the tremendous event coordinator, Alma Hines.
Claudia Ortiz.